Tonight is the last football game of the regular season. We play Marlington in the Backyard Brawl, a rivalry game we have had since 2005. The student section theme is going green. It's also senior night, so all fall senior athletes and band members will be recognized before the game. Find the live stream on channel 1022 or on the Student Square link if you can't make it out to the Backyard Brawl. Halloween is next week. Here's what students are saying about their plans for this year. Hi, I'm here with Mrs. Herdman. And are you going trick-or-treating this year? I will be trick-or-treating with my granddaughter. All right, and what are you dressing up as? Well, right now it's a secret because next Thursday on the 31st, we're going to be having a costume co contest for the different departments and the teachers in the building. All right, what time are you guys going to have that? Well, we're all going to dress up on Thursday, and then students will have a choice, a chance to vote in the afternoon. They'll get an email with pictures, and they'll be able to cast their vote on their favorite um, department in the building. All right, I'll definitely have to vote for that. Thank you. Thanks. Hi, I'm Logan. I'm here with me and you plan on trick or treating this year? Yeah. 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 All right. What costume are you gonna wear? Oh, I'm gonna be a prisoner. All right. Thank you. Hi, I'm here with. Faith, Maddie. And are you guys going trick-or-treating this year? Uh, probably, yeah. And what are you guys being for Halloween? I'm being Poison Ivy. I'm being a police officer. All right, thank you. <laughs> Hi, I'm here with. Taylor. And you going trick-or-treating this year? Mm, probably not. All right, and what are you dressing up as? Uh, I think I'm going to be a cat. All right, thank you. Hi, I'm here with. Rashi. Eric. And are you guys going trick-or-treating this year? Probably, yeah, maybe. All right, and what are you guys being for Halloween? Art the Clown, a SWAT officer. All right, thank you. This Sunday will be the fifth annual Pumpkin Palooza in the South Lobby from 2 to 4 p.m. This event is totally free for Alliance High School students and is sponsored by the FCA Club. Come enjoy cider and hot chocolate, decorating pumpkin cookies, and paint or carve a pumpkin to be entered in the pumpkin contest. All are welcome. Winter sports season is also starting up. We will be there to cover wrestling, basketball, swimming, competition cheerleading, and bowling. Good luck, aviators, in this next season. And now, here is Zane's music review show, Rhythmic Gazette. No, what? The chicken? Dude, we're live! We're live! First things first, famous British YouTuber, KSI, drops a new single which did not get a positive review from his fans and especially his haters since this came out right after his online beef with another famous YouTuber, Dan TDM, who a lot of people grew up on. It was a pretty one-sided beef with KSI making multiple different tweets out to Dan, with Dan just not responding and instead spending time with his kids and wife. I'm sure if you're on the internet anywhere, you've seen memes about it, a lot about how it's pretty much just a Disney song or just really, really bad. The AMA, AKA the American Music Awards, reached a new milestone with 12.9 million viewers, averaging 6 million viewers. The AMA has become the second most watched program of that day, trailing only behind the NFL. The broadcast was packed with performances from legendary music names, including Jennifer Lopez, Mariah Carey, and Green Day. A pretty big mix of music for people of different ages. Now, being the music guy, I obviously had to go and ask people how they felt about the music they put at Homecoming. All right, I'm here with our Homecoming King, Ranger Smith. Ranger, what was your favorite song at Homecoming? Well, my favorite song at Homecoming would probably be uh, Poker Face by Lady Gaga. The Dougie, of course. <laughs> I like the Whip and Nene. Yeah. Homecoming by Ye. I don't know if they played that one. All right, I'm here with somebody who was on our Homecoming court. What's your name? Anaya Shantz. Now, uh, what was your favorite Homecoming song? Any song they played by Sexy Red. Now, what was your least favorite Homecoming song? Any other song, because it was kind of lame. Oh, the worst song. Oh, it was, uh, I'm forgetting what the song was called. It was called, uh, like, Ray, Lay, Red Lady, Lady, uh... Lady oh. Gaga? No, 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 it was, um... It was the color red was in the name. I don't know. I'm forgetting what it was called, Zane. Right. It, was, it was really, really bad. Cotton Eye Joe. Yeah, Cotton Eye Joe. Cotton Eye Joe. I don't know. They played something by Big Lotto. The crowd was not into that one. I'd probably say Murder on the Dance Floor. Now, overall, what would you rate the Homecoming music? Oh, well, I think it was a lot better than uh, Prom or, uh, or Homecoming last year's music, but 
Still could have been better, maybe a seven out of 10. It's how you made them. So I'd say nine out of 10, because I made them fun. 10. I give it a 9.5. Why is this a specific number, dude? I like that number. I go five. I would rate it a, a five because the music was just not good. And it just, last year was way better. And I just feel like they could have brought better DJs. It would be a, a nine out of 10. Look like the kids were having fun, big turnout, right? Hey, some of those interviews weren't too bad. That guy who brought up Kanye though, stunk horribly. Absolutely atrocious, all right? Now, Pharrell Williams, famous music producer, singer, and writer, who you know from the song Happy and some of the songs from the Despicable Me movies, has his own movie out, a Lego movie about his life. It's currently playing in theaters and is getting positive reviews from viewers so far. It dives into his journey, into his music career and life. Now, remember that album I talked about a long time ago for The Offspring? Hated it, didn't like it at all, it was mid. They've done way better in the past, and I think their age is finally catching up to them. Now, that's all for today's episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Dawn, and we're going to close out today's show with some footage of the Halloween party at the library last weekend.